Welcome to the Q2 2015 Cushman & Wakefield Market B video. My name is John Tizard, I'm the Director in Charge of Valuation and Research here in Vietnam. Okay, let's look at the economy. The first half of the year witnessed an increase in GDP of 6.28% compared to the same period last year, which is the highest level recorded since 2008. Inflation remains under control, with the consumer price index increasing just 0.86% year on year. Inward foreign direct investment, or FDI, to Vietnam in the first half of this year, including both newly registered and additional FDI, reached $5.5 billion, which is actually nearly 20% down year on year. However, the dispersed FDI actually increased by nearly 10% year on year to $6.3 billion. Among the provinces to receive this, Dong Nai attracted the most, followed by Ho Chi Minh City and Tainan. Uh, Sector-wise, manufacturing again and the processing industry accounted for most of the total registered capital, but real estate had 8.5% of this. Okay, let's look at the apartment for sale market now. The total primary supply in this quarter was more than 15,000 units in Hanoi, and over 25,000 units in Ho Chi Minh City. Absorption rates were very high in both cities, with Grade A units doing especially well, recording nearly 60% absorption in Hanoi. The same story was witnessed in the South, with absorption rates across all grades in Ho Chi Minh City being nearly two and a half times higher than just one year ago. The ever-expanding infrastructure in both cities continues to present interesting investment and development opportunities, and we will continue to see new areas opened up as well as consolidation of existing hotspots. Customers are rapidly improving confidence in the market, in addition to the punctual construction progress, a variety of promotions and flexible payment terms from developers, as well as a rent guarantee program applied at mid and high end projects. It will really help the apartment for sale market in the major cities. We expect to see continued strong performance in terms of absorption rates continue through to 2016, although we do remain concerned that a large amount of new supply will dampen rental returns in the short to medium term, so care should be taken when investing to maximise returns. The impact of foreign ownership on this market will also be closely scrutinised over the rest of 2015. However, on the evidence of the strength of this particular market segment, it can be said that we are entering the market recovery stage of the real estate cycle. Okay, let's have a look at the office market now. Unfortunately, the two cities diverge when it comes to the office market. Ho Chi Minh City is currently experiencing very high occupancy rates, 92% for the 156,000 square metres of Grade A and 94,000 for the 660,000 square metres of Grade B. Grade A rents remained at nearly $47 per square metre per month, but these are asking rents including service charge, and at Grade B just over $27 per square metre per month. In the second half of 2015, the Ho Chi Minh City market is expected to welcome more than 100,000 square metres of office space from one grade A and three grade B projects, providing more options for occupiers. We understand that Viet Cong Bank Tower, the new grade A building, is filling up already, meaning that pressure on rents could cut incentives over the next 12 months. In Hanoi, no new office buildings entered the market for either grade in the second quarter of 2015. Currently, occupancy for the 375,000 square metres of Grade A space is at 81%, and at 84% for the 747,000 square metres of Grade B space. Average asking rents for both grades in Hanoi remain stable compared to the previous quarter, with Grade A rents at $30 a square metre per month, and Grade B equivalent to $18 per square metre per month. Again, these are asking rents with service charges included. There's no new Grade A offices due to come online in 2015 in Hanoi, but a lot of Grade B supply is expected to enter the market. The office market will continue to face an oversupply over this year and into 2016 due to a significant number of office projects currently in the fitting out stage, especially in the western part of the city, such as Diamond Flower Tower, 789 Building and Discovery Complex. Therefore, rental declines are expected to continue and will be of considerable concern for landlords. Tenants, however, can look forward to more flexible leasing terms in addition to falling rents. On to the retail market now. In Ho Chi Minh City, Vivo City Shopping Centre opened, as well as Taka Plaza 2 Bazaar entered the market, adding 
42,000 square metres of retail space to the market. However, one bazaar, Saigon Square on Tontic Tang, ceased operations, and one shopping centre in District 1 and another bazaar in District 5 were closed temporarily for renovations. The total area of retail space in the city is now approximately 937,000 square metres. The retail market in Ho Chi Minh City continued to see gradual improvement, with average occupancy in all areas rising on a yearly basis to 92%. Retail properties in the CBD area generally perform better than those in the other areas, reaching 91%, up 2 percentage points year on year. However, both the secondary and suburban areas have recently enjoyed new investment trends, with some giant foreign retailers establishing large shopping centres and offering aggressive rents as compared to those in the CBD. Average rents have trended downwards, down 1% quarter on quarter and 5% year on year, with the main reason for the decrease being the lower rents in new projects and the closing of three retail properties where rents were higher. Over a million square metres of new supply will enter the market through to 2020, which represents a 200% increase in retail supply from current levels. Demand for retail space in the CBD is expected to remain high in the short to medium term. However, due to lim limited land, the majority of large-scale future stock will be located in non-CBD areas, mostly in the south and east, where most of the city's infrastructure and residential developments have been established. In Hanoi, there was no new supply in Q2 2015. The retail component of Kiangnam Landmark 74 is currently under reconstruction and likely to stay inactive at least until the end of 2015. The average asking rents for ground floor shopping centres and department stores in Hanoi fell by 1% quarter on quarter, whilst retail podiums showed an increase of 3% quarter on quarter. However, rents are projected to trend downwards in the long run due to supply overhang, as well as incoming supply, especially from retail podiums in condominium complexes. Vacancies are expected to rise in tandem. Both the total supply of shopping centre and retail podium will increase in coming time, and it is noted that a significant retail podiums will cluster in the suburban areas, specifically Khao Yai, Tu Lim and Tan Sun districts. Cushman and Wakefield Vietnam are happy to report many leasing deals this quarter, with the most significant two being 2,000 square metres in Ho Kham Plaza in Hanoi and 1,000 square metres at Hoang Angelai Scheme in Yangon, Myanmar. Cushman and Wakefield also appointed the exclusive marketing and leasing agent for Lavenue Crown in District 1, Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. My contact details will be on screen now.